July. So I just wanted to pop on here because I know I've made videos in the past on kind of like a harder school psych day, but I think I usually film when I'm like in a good mood and I have energy and time to film and I'm feeling like really positive and today is not one of those days. <laughs> and so I do think it's like important to see the good and the bad of working in public education and even virtual school psychology because although it's virtual and a lot of the reasons why I love it, like even today, thank goodness I'm virtual and I'm not in person because I had a really hard day. So now I'm working for my bed, which feels more comforting and I'm feeling a lot better now, but, and talk about what it's like on a hard day, especially if you have anxiety or any type of mental health situation going on. I'm having a very anxious week or two and I go through phases where my anxiety is pretty bad or I don't really struggle with it that much, but this week has been a really hard week. Work has been really stressful, but on top of that, I have a giant home demo going on in my house because I had a bursted pipe and it caused a lot of water damage and mold. And so my, I'm like living in a construction, jo construction zone, but also working from home. So I can't get away from the noise and the stress and like, Having work be stressful, but also have my house be stressful is, big, is kind of a hard, it's hard right now. On top of that, it's March Madness, and I'm just like, well, all year's been March Madness for me. Well, I don't know what happened, but I feel like all of a sudden there's so many referrals, and I'm just struggling, guys. There's so many referrals right now. Why am I saying referrals wrong? So many referrals right now that... I don't even know what to do. I am covering four schools right now in my district. My district has had a lot of turnover and there's not enough school sites for the district, basically. I got to go to another elementary school because I love the little ones. And I asked to switch from middle school to elementary when we hired on a new virtual school psych. And so I got what I wanted, right? But I went to a school that hasn't had a psych all year and I have like backed up testing and I'm getting referrals every day. And I'm also just like dealing with a lot of pushback and like people just not trusting me because I'm a virtual school psychologist or just being angry if I push back on testing a kid. But it's just, it's just been a really hard week. Every day I feel like I'm getting a new email about testing a kid. My caseload is so big. How am I supposed to keep on taking kids? That's the thing I don't get. There's only one testing proctor to share between three school psychologists. So we have like a test, testing schedule. I can't just test 24 seven. That's not even an option, right? On top of that, I wouldn't want to, but there's so much else that goes into these evaluations and just testing. So I don't know, like sometimes as a school psychologist, it feels like people don't understand really what it means to do a full evaluation and Everyone's always pushing for it, even if there's factors that show that maybe we shouldn't be testing a student, I'll have a team come at me full force or act like I'm like trying to deny a child testing for the wrong reason when like, oh, the child wasn't in first or second grade and didn't get their education. They didn't anyway, I don't wanna just complain on here. I'm just, I just wanted to hop on in a moment where I'm feeling really down and anxious and have a lot of work to do. I still feel grateful to be a virtual school psychologist and with my company that I work for, but it is like the role of a school psychologist is not always easy. It's really hard work. It's a lot of report writing, so much report writing. If you don't like writing, don't, I'm not going to say don't do it, but really consider it because there's a lot of writing that comes into our job and there's also just a lot of advocacy and, um, having to push back when people don't want that pushback and sometimes being treated poorly. If you're a virtual school psych, people sometimes don't think you're like the best option or you're not giving the best service when I haven't felt that way at all. I've done both in person and virtual and I feel like I still have wonderful sessions with children. Um, anyway, if anything, I'm just sharing that I'm having a hard week. It'll be fine. I really hope I can do everything, but I am human. I just wanted to reach out and let you guys know that they're not all positive days and some days are really hard and some days you cry. I cried, not gonna lie. <laughs>
And I know it'll be better though because I've been through lots of waves like this in my job. Lots of testing sometimes depending where you're at. So I hope you guys have a good day and I promise there will be a positive video soon. But I wanted to show the real life of school psychologists.